Make sure y'all stay tuned to the end of the video. We're gonna be announcing who won the $25 O'Reilly gift card giveaway from last video. If y'all didn't win, y'all still have a chance to win. The next giveaway is coming soon. Make sure y'all subscribe so you miss out on Nathan. What's happening, YouTube? Kenny back with another vlog coming to you straight from quarantine. And today, we got some spanking new tires for the 350Z. So let me just start from the beginning. I know I had some pretty cool, nice black HR rims. And they were staggered, so they stuck out a little bit too. So they were pretty cool. But the reason I decided to get new rims was just because I know that rims really make an entire car. You know, I can start changing the headlights and change the front bumper. But if you still got stock rims, and to me, that doesn't look that cool. I know some cars, stock rims look hella nice but if y'all remember like my miata i love when the wheels stick out and i still wanted the black look so i went on facebook and i started looking for some rims found a guy all the way in simi valley it was like an hour and a half two hours away from where i live and i can't remember how much i paid for them they were like four or something that ain't because i got it like that all of the rims had tires two of them were good one of them was brand new and one needed to be repaired and these do have a little bit of curb rash so i ended up paying like four something for them. I put the price on right here. My pops left me his truck for the day, so I drove all the way down there, picked up the rims, drove all the way back to La Puente to mount the tire because the tires weren't mounted because this guy took off the tire pressure sensor off of them, which I hate when people sell rims without the tire pressure. And they can get pretty expensive. I think mounting, balancing, putting the tire sensors, I think it cost me around 200 bucks. I decided to keep the brand new tire he gave me as a spare and buy some brand new tires off Amazon. Just got the cheapest one they had. These are some Joy Rose, and you can have your own opinion about them but they were 80 bucks for the pair on amazon prime yes sir let's go fedex that's how we rock but realistically i live in california it don't snow here it don't rain all that much so there's no real point to having these crazy ass weather performance tires i put the new joy roads on the front because the good condition ones that he gave me i just want to wear them out on the back like in case i want to do some donuts or just do some burnouts i can just abuse them till i have the money to replace them with some new ones i brought all four rims back from the mechanic shop and i was too excited to install them and i actually already had a buyer for the hr rims so i installed them as soon as i got home I right, these are lug nuts I decided to go with. I know some of y'all probably have your opinions about these, saying they oxidize fast, the paint don't last. But I think I had the exact same ones, if not similar ones, on my Miata, and I absolutely loved them. And yeah, the paint didn't last, and yeah, they did oxidize. Oxidize means rust. But I fucking loved them. I think they held up great. I think they look nice. And y'all already know me. I ain't really a flashy guy or anything like that. On my Miata, I actually liked the way they looked a little bit rusted. I think it added a pretty cool, bro. Y'all see rust? I see texture. It's called layering i also got some matching lock ones i'm actually pretty hyped about these i really wanted to put some lock nuts with these but they don't really sell lock nuts are black and then i didn't want it to look different either obviously lock nuts are for protection not for glam but i still wanted it to look nice so i'm really happy i found these i'll put links for both of these in the description Jeez. Took them shits out, bruh. I did take off the front wheel wells because they were rubbing on my shit bad as fuck bruh and i'm fucking in love with these no cap after installing them, I was so freaking happy with them. I just wanted to go out for a drive. And I still had to sell the HR rims. So I load up the HR rims. And thank God they fit perfectly in the car. Two tires fit exactly perfectly in the passenger well. I trade the HR for a used exhaust system, which I'm really excited to put in the car and make a how-to video on. Y'all know I don't care about getting used parts. And that's why I wasn't going too crazy on the rim. Like, I know these rims are good, but I know they have some curb rash, especially on the passenger side, it's a little worse. They probably gonna have to be repaired and they probably gonna need a new powder coat. But as y'all know on this channel, I'm not really into the flashy look. I'm more into the vintage, old school type look. That's just my style personally. And honestly, I just hate having brand new things. I'm kind of weird like that. When I have brand new things, I feel like I don't want to use them. I prefer to get a good deal on something that's already broken in these rims are 19 by 10 and a half plus 22 offset on all four and if you're thinking about is it rubbing on the upper control arm you can buzz whole ass u-turns you ain't gonna scratch nothing i was actually pretty hyped i didn't know the previous owner actually rolled the front fenders did a shitty ass job but that does save me a cool 80 bucks which i don't even think these would have rubbed this is stock ride height and like i already said i plan to keep it that way for as long as i can all my friends have lower cars i used to have a lower car i think lower cars are cool just personally the way i drive and where i live a lower car just isn't practical but yeah i bought some goodies for her i bought some fuzzy dice blue get this bitch ass mother 
motherfucker. There you go. There you go, King. Ah, did he buy? Yes, sir. And I got some matching tire pressure valve caps. Blue dice. Get a quick installation. Oh my god, I love them. They look so small. Yo, I think they look sick as fuck. <laughs> And I for sure know there's a lame gonna try to jack me. You at least gonna need two hands if you're gonna jack this right here. These have some really nice O-rings inside. I don't know if you can see those red O-rings inside. So they allow me to tie them down pretty good. Dude, plus two cool guy points for sure. I also got a mini spoiler from Wish that I've always wanted. <clears throat> so I just got this new spoiler. Sorry that's a little windy right now. 100% genuine carbon fiber. Don't ask me how I know. That's not for a fact. I got it off Wish. Do I need to say anymore? Come on. When you install it, you want to make sure you clean it real good. <sighs> Straight. All we're gonna do is remove the red cover of the double-sided tape. Bop. You can tell the quality just by the sound right there. Very important that you put it center on the trunk. The description is said if you don't put it center, there's a chance of you messing up some kind of gas mileages for you. So you make sure you want to put it centered. I'm gonna line it up with the emblem right here. Bop. Say less. Common misconception is that the exhaust should be the first performance mod you do. Not on this Christian channel. For the show, this is going to help with the aerodynamics of the car. You know how the wind comes in. And it keeps the rear wheels lower. You know how it all go. Y'all already know on Wish it said plus 5 horsepower. I don't really know how true that all is, but I don't really think it's going to be all. Alright, first drive with the spoiler um, said plus 5 horsepower. Um, Let's see, I, I guess, you know. Oh shit! My horsepower, my that's 50 right there! Hold up! Oh my lord. Nah, it's the dice. Nah, stop. I know what gives my car horsepower and that was the dice for sure. I think the valve cap helped with traction. The spoiler, obviously aerodynamics. Shit low key looks cool. You can just see right there how it just brings the entire car together, you already know. Cause what happens is the wind, you know, and then it, it doesn't go to the sides now that you have the spoiler it all just funnels right underneath right 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 there right there it go it, it go right there but yeah man i'm extremely happy with the yeah i really love the way the lug nuts came out i think they look real nice hey man don't hate on my dice they make me smile every time i see them i think they look so hard that beautiful staggered look yes sir plus 50 horsepower you know the vibes shit looking hella crispy all right let's do the giveaway What's going on? What's going on? It is Friday morning and it is 12.03. I don't know whose dumbass idea it was to do this at midnight, but when I find him, I'm gonna beat his ass. This is neither here or there. For those of you who don't know, on my last video, we did a giveaway for a $25 gift card to O'Reilly's. All you had to do to enter was be subscribed and comment giveaway underneath the video. This is my first giveaway, but it will not be my last. I promise you that. The next giveaway is actually already recorded and scheduled on YouTube already. Hint, look out for the exhaust video in the next coming weeks. All right, we only had three entries and these are the people that answered. But thank you to everybody who entered into the giveaway. This is a subscriber appreciation. So just reminding y'all, I appreciate every single one of you and look forward to continue having you on this channel whether you guys are the winner or the others we just got a random name picker off of google and we're just gonna shuffle these three names all right good luck to all that answered let's do it drum roll and the winner is Nexus Override. I appreciate you, brother. I'm going to go ahead and pin your comment. And I'm going to DM you on Instagram. And we'll make sure we get this sent out to you, man. Congratulations. Hey, I'm hella hyped. That did my first giveaway. I appreciate you, Nexus. Thank you so much for all your comments and your support on not only my YouTube, but my Instagram. I, I'm tired as fuck. <laughs> Thank y'all so much if y'all made it to the end of the video. Please make sure y'all subscribe because we got merch dropping hella soon. Another giveaway in just a few weeks. Weekly videos. We're about to be lifted of all restrictions here in California. Which means vlogs are about to get dumb lit. And I'll just show y'all right quick. I just bought my new camera today. This is actually the first DSLR I've ever bought. It's a Canon 5D Mark III. Picked it up in LA. So my Instagram is about to get... Ooh. Bro, I need to get a rap, no cap. I right, thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.